Dylan Carter advanced to the finals of the men's 50-meter freestyle and Amisha Lee Ahi was easy into the semis of the women's 100 on day 5 of the 2022 Commonwealth Games in Birmingham. Carter began the day qualifying second in heat 9 of the 50 in 22.48 seconds. In semi-final 1, he improved to 22.35 to finish second and punch his ticket for Wednesday's medal race. Also in the pool, Graham Chatur is listed as a reserve for tomorrow's men's 1500m free. His time of 16 minutes, 10.96 seconds saw him finish just out of the top 4 in heat 2. Chatur was the ninth fastest over the two heats. Meanwhile, Michelle Ahi, the 2018 women's 100m champ, won her heat 5 in 11.1 four seconds to comfortably advance to tomorrow's semi-final. Khalifa Sin Ford finished fourth in Heat 3 in 11.49 seconds but did not progress. Leah Bertrand did not face the starter in Heat 7. Gerard Elcock, Keon Benjamin and Eric Harrison Jr. all booked spots in Wednesday's men's 100m semi-final. Benjamin was second in Heat 6 in 10.34 seconds, Harrison was third in Heat 8 in 10.37, while Elcock won Heat 10 in 10.26 seconds. In the field, Kelsey Daniel leapt a season's best of 7.49 meters in Group B, but finished outside the 12 best and did not advance. And Will Wright had a leap of 7.58 meters in Group A to qualify for Thursday's final. In judo, Jelani Boyce was eliminated in the round of 16 of the men's 73 kilogram section by Joshua Green of Northern Ireland. Green won the contest 11 0. In the men's 81 kilogram elimination round of 16, Xavier Jones was routed by Asa Weathers of Barbados. Meanwhile, TNT Beach Volleyball Pierre Soraya Chase and Felicia Armstrong were beaten 21 7 21 6 by Australia in the women's preliminary round Pool B. And in netball, Jolisa Cooper scored 13 of her 15 attempts and Afisha Noel 11 of her 12 in a valiant effort that ended in an 80-24 win for New Zealand. Well done, Team TTO.